M&M reported earnings that were in line, but markets not too impressed. Uh, Agam's joining us with the fine print. Agam, what worked and what didn't? Well, in terms of M&M's third quarter, it was a rather subdued quarter, uh, but very much in line with street expectations. So revenues did decline as much as 2% as expected by the street. Profits, on the other hand, uh, moved up as much as 12%, and margins also expanded to 13% against 11%, once again, according to street expectations. Uh, what was really behind the margin expansion was the fact that the tractor business has done really well. In fact, uh, they did see a revenues rise of as much as 20%. We've seen volumes move up as much as 21% year on year. And of course, in terms of margins too, uh, we've seen a good 18% margins for just from the tractor business as against 15% year on year. On the other hand, from the weaker side of things, uh, well, it was the utility vehicle space, uh, which uh, wasn't as robust as its uh, tra as the tractor business. In, in fact, its total automotive volumes were down uh, quite a bit, and its revenues too uh, took a hit of as much as 12%, while profits before tax taking a hit of 2%. Overall, in terms of expenditure, uh, well, we did see total expenditures down by 4%. But if you take raw material costs uh, as a ratio to revenues, they stand at 52% against 49%. All in all, a rather subdued set of numbers, though very much in line with street expectations when it comes to M&M.